And welcome back to the trucking journey and episode what is this 46 but I am parked at a rest stop in Texas I am um, in between San Antonio and Laredo but I went to the restroom here a while ago and I saw something a little strange this fly of some sort here I guess the janitor has been by here because before they were everywhere and they were all in the men's restroom. Yeah, the janitor got them. Well, I guess that's not that strange after all from you guys' perspective, but I promise you there was probably a hundred of them. Most of them were dead and there was a few still moving around. But it is time to get on the road, people. Me and Big Red's on a mission. Headed to Laredo. Hello again everyone and welcome to Laredo, Texas. I have just dropped this trailer at our southeastern yard here in Laredo and I'm waiting on my next assignment that will be taking me back to South Carolina. Ooh, I just heard the Qualcomm go off. Maybe it's a load. No, it's not a load. I've got this Transflow app on my phone, it's like the G&P Transflow app and I can communicate with my dis dispatcher on it and the messages always come to my phone prior to coming to the Qualcomm in the truck. So I already got that message. A little over an hour has passed and I have still not got a load taking me out of Laredo. Now I do have food in the truck and I had a little salad earlier but since I'm in Laredo I know most people would be go get Mexican and I thought about that but I'm not getting Mexican I'm getting a burger you ask what kind of burger what a burger you can come any time of day. Whataburger has been privately owned since 1950. Now it is not exclusively to Texas, but there is a bunch of them in Texas. And if you're from the Southeast and the Carolinas like myself, eh, you probably haven't seen too many Whataburgers. So let's go inside and check it out. I have ordered and now I'm waiting on my food. I had ordered the new sweet and spicy bacon cheeseburger. Sounds good, huh? Now that's pretty cool. They brought me my burger and fries on a tray and she had this other tray with ketchup, salt, pepper, napkins and everything. There's fancy ketchup, but then there's also spicy ketchup. I'll have to read the ingredients to see what the difference is. Ah, the difference is red jalapeno pepper. Look at that. Yum yum. Hmm. Now that's a tasty burger. Hmm. That was good. Well, I've been in the Whataburger parking lot for almost five hours now. But I just got a load that's going back to South Carolina. Going right back to the southeastern yard to pick it up and I'll try to at least get a couple hundred more miles in today. Alright, I'm at the southeastern yard to get my trailer. And some asshole jacked the trailer way up. I don't know why anybody would want to fully extend it and have it this high. Which means I high hooked it. 
No big deal though. All I did is flip the little switch on the inside and it's uh, lowering and I should be able to back on up now. Happens a lot down here in Laredo. And another thing that's real common, the little rubber things on the trailers, they're often gone on trailers when you pick up in Laredo. What the heck's that all about? But let me walk up here and hopefully this guy has some black rubbers and get my bills. Black rubbers! This trailer's missing. This trailer doesn't have any. Nope! Not there. Hey, this one actually has them still. This trailer beside me, it doesn't have any. But mine now has them. Rock on. I got a decision to make. I've been waiting on this load for like six hours and I've had myself off duty the whole time, which means in about four hours, I will be reset. But I haven't had any sleep. My trip, is just under 1300 miles from here which should take about 22 hours which is a full shift i could wait four hours and start and drive through the night and maybe i can make it in the next two shifts or i can go ahead and get started i've got four and a half hours I can still drive for today, do a 10 hour break, and then start it tomorrow, and then finish on Friday. I'll just probably have a tough time finding a place to park four hours from now, because it's almost six o'clock, so that'll be like 10 o'clock at night central time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and roll, people. Get what I can tonight, and then have a heck of a shift, but have Cajun food on Thursday, which will be tomorrow, and the deliver on Friday, and then I've got a date Friday night. I'm gonna go ahead and get rolling. It is now lunchtime in Louisiana. I had considered stopping at Pito's. I've had a few people recommend that to me, but I pushed a little further. I am now at exit 92, and there's a Cajun restaurant called Rascals, which I've tried once before, and their gator bites are awesome. And instead of boudin balls, I've been told I should try boudin. And here's the restaurant. And the sign says, it's certified Cajun. Now there is a buffet. Yeah, that's a new way to make pecan pie. This place is pretty nice on the inside. And they've got their buffet and salad bar there. But looking at the menu, there's no boot in. She tells me they make it here, but it's sold in the store. So I don't know, maybe I'll grab one of those on the way out, but I have ordered some alligator bites, and I've had them here before, and they're really, really good. I had got the seafood platter last time I was here with Mark, which has stuffed crab, jalapenos, fried shrimp, and fried catfish nuggets. So while I'm here at Rascals, I'm getting 10.99 gator bites and a 2.99 salad. And I can get some soup, but it's like broccoli and cheese soup. Depending upon if I have an appetite, I may get a little boudin from the store on my way out of here. And there's the Gator Bites people with some cocktail and some horseradish. I can feel the heat coming off of them from here. They're fresh. I like to get a big hunk of horseradishy cocktail on here. Mmm. Won't be any to-go box for this truck driver. 
Well, that was delicious, people. If you have never tried gator before, get you some. Um, I think it's better than chicken, but I've got a little bit of an appetite remaining. So let's go check out this whole boudin thing. Cash only. This isn't gonna be good. Wow, they've got lots of good food here. Jambalaya, spaghetti, mac and cheese, blackberry cobbler. But if you're like me and only have plastic, you're shit out of luck. What is that big old thing? I am a vlogger. I'm Trucker Jill. <laughs> hey, but they don't do samples on boudin, which is actually like a big long sausage, but they do on the crackling. And I'm about to try it. Can you hear it crackling? It's pretty tasty. Locals really seem to love this place. There's been like five people come up and get boudin balls and crack on just since I've been standing here. I found out what this is. It's chicken kebab, peppers and onions and sausage, and it's battered and deep fried. Now I gave her a chance to give a plug for a, now this is at Rascals here, the Rascals is a restaurant. We this Rascals get that. Rascals, Rascals Express. Yeah, I tried to get some boot in next door, but like, nah, you gotta go over to the store for that. We make it here, but you got y'all gotta sell a lot of it. You can't cut me a little sliver of it off just to try. It. Um, I could try to find you one day's place. Okay. This is crunchy stuff. Thank you. All right, it's boudin time. This is what it looks like, guys. I've never tried this before. It's good, and it's in like this sleeve. Do you squirt it out in your mouth, or you chew up the? You chew it. Oh, okay. It dissolves. Right on. So now I've had boudin, but this is a pretty cool truck stop. They've got, like this is their mascot, Rascals. But there's lots of stuffed animals and really good food here. And you can get wine and ice cream and there's bandanas. Or if you're a Saints fan, there's a lot of Saints stuff here. And LSU. Wow, actually they have a whole liquor aisle. Liquor. Like this don't happen in the Carolinas. There's Jim Beam and Cuervo. I wonder if they got Maker's Mark. They do have Maker's Mark. But I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have alcohol in a commercial vehicle. So I'm gonna get on out of here and get back on the road. I may make a second cup of coffee so I don't get sleepy from all this sausage and fried gator and stuff I just ate. But exit 92 off of I-10. And there's a casino right here too if you're the gambling type, which most truck stops have a casino it seems like in Louisiana. There's a chance you take when the heat's on you and the heat is on everyone we are coming to an end of another week out on the road and another episode of the trucking journey but I'm at the ZF transmission plant and I'm not the only one here there's like a dozen other trucks when I pulled up and I didn't just arrive I've already checked in I've been here 40 minutes but I'm ready to leave but I think it's gonna be well I know it's gonna be a live unload and let's say grant my request to let me just drop the trailer and bobtail out of here because I'm ready for a little home time I'm supposed to have a date tonight well uh, me and a, a lady that you guys haven't met yet had planned to get some seafood but I am already running behind the schedule I had gave the expectation for but tomorrow 
is something kind of cool going on. Um, GMP's having a breakfast, and they're also calling it a town hall meeting. I think, like, the president of the company or some guy like that, anyway, is going to be heading it up, um, maybe talking about the future for GMP. And also, I need to decide if uh, I want to be a part of the future of GNP or look for other opportunities that can help me achieve my goals. But I will let you know how the meeting goes. But until next time, be safe out there and keep on trucking.